This is the tie that I was wearing for the May 9th, 1942 episode, which is the Battle of the Coral Sea. A pivotal battle. It is the first ever carrier versus carrier uh, battle. Well, okay, carriers don't actually fire on carriers because they're not made for offense, but carrier planes versus enemy carriers. And because it's the first one ever, everybody makes a lot of mistakes. I think the most egregious one is the Japanese planes trying to land on an American carrier because they, they're confused. Although American bombers attacking Australian cruisers is a pretty big one <laughs> as well. Everyone makes mistakes. It ended with a tactical victory for Japan, but a strategic one for the U.S. And Japan lost its first major warship of the whole war. I mean, think this through. I mean, at Pearl Harbor, the U.S. lost the use or lost all the battleships. The, the ABDA fleet was completely destroyed. The British fleet's been chased out of the Indian Ocean. America has a few carriers and the Australians are basically stuck to port. Japan has this monster navy and they actually lost a ship. So this is the tie that I wore for that. It's streamlined and sleek like navies should be. It is made by Tom Harrison. It's got fire. It's got fire. The orange stands for the fire on the decks of Shokaku which prohibited Shokaku from using its carrier deck for 90 minutes. The, the black symbolizes those 90 minutes. And the gray symbolizes the skies. The, oh, no, because Zuikaku like sort of fled away and fled into a rain squall where the enemy planes couldn't follow. That's what the gray is for. So this really does symbolize the entire battle of, of the Coral Sea. That's great. Coral. No, but, you know, if it didn't, then I'd have to make something up about it. And I wouldn't yeah, want to do that. Because I'm not very good at that. So, all right. Well, this, Battle of the Coral Sea. Mm -hmm.